Hello and welcome to a special work in progress episode here on Captain's Dry Dock. And in the Dry Dock today, we're working on the spats and the caps. Well, kneecaps, but you see what I did there. These are all the parts that make up the spats. So if you're looking down at your feet, this will be your left and this will be your right. And with all parts of from Imperial Surplus, they indicate the left and right with a Sharpie or it's actually indented in the actual material itself, which you cut off. But if you've done, if you cut that off like I've done before and not actually noted down which is left and right, it's quite easy. With the spats, they've got an indent here, which is for the clip. Just like with the thigh and the car farmer, these will be on the outside. So that's how you can tell which one's left and which one's right. So people can see it. Focusing on one of the spats is trying to work out how it all comes together. But believe me, it's not that easy once you've got these bits cut out because it was later I found that the back part is not interchangeable, meaning the left has to stay with the left and the right has to stay with the right because it just won't work. And how this comes together is that I need to cut off this little square bit here that gets glued here, so dollop up there and a dollop down there, and this stays unattached. And when I say stays unattached, you do attach it later on, but temporarily, this allows enough flex for you to fit your foot through and then attach at the back using Velcro. Or I've seen people use snaps or even magnets. Now, in fact, I saw a work in progress where the guy glued this part together and attached a snap here and then a snap on the clip so the clip actually was a functional piece but as much as i respect that and it was good quality and looked awesome i'm just going to go for the straightforward traditional option of using boring old velcro it does the job to help me work out where the glue should be rather than doing it too far outwards here and then just smearing all over the nice surface i've just done a little bit of marker on the surface there so i know exactly how much and where the glue should be before I actually glue it all together. Now it's a case of just clamping it all together and because it takes around about five minutes to set and around about 24 hours to properly cure, I can move this around to just get in the right position before it all sets. So the spats are freshly painted and they are looking great. Now, as you can see here, what I've done, I use some masking tape to mask off where the clip is going to attach because whenever you glue anything to another surface, you want to make sure it's actually on the material and not actually on the paint layer because as you can imagine, the paint layer can just peel off. So I've just taken that masking tape off and what I'm going to use is two part epoxy resin because I don't want this going anywhere. And actually two part epoxy resin is really, really good because not only is it super strong, it's really flexible. And, being, and bearing in mind, this is gonna be around my ankles. It needs to flex quite a lot. So here's a clip which has been painted separately. And I just pop that on there, leave that five minutes, uh, 24 hours to harden, and that won't be going anywhere, except when I'm walking around. And that's the spats completed. In fact, the only thing I needed to do then was add some Velcro. So double-sided Velcro, there's a hook side, and inside there is the loop side. And that gets attached just like that there. And that is firm. And there we go. All I need to do is give it a bit of a polish and uh, these are ready to wear. So I went ahead after I constructed all of this and then painted and polished and it turned out really well. And as I mentioned before with the car farmer, it doesn't really matter if there's any imperfections because they're way low down where your ankles are. So no one's gonna really notice. In fact, if you are starting a kit like this, perhaps this is a good place to start if you wanna get in practice with your construction and painting techniques. So what about the kneecaps? Well, I didn't actually start filming anything about making these kneecaps because they're so simple. In fact, it's just one piece of plastic that you trim, 
and you paint. So that is a really easy part of the build to actually put together because you don't put anything together other than the back. Now the back here, so the way, there's a couple of mechanisms I actually put in here to be able to attach to your knee. Now I've seen other work in progresses where they use one of these methods, but I thought belt and braces. At, for the time being, until I put all this on, I can just work out how this all fits together and what I actually like. So what you can see here is a bit of elastic cord here. Uh, those two bits here, those are two clear hooks by 3M and I super glued them on. And there we have some Velcro. So there'll be an adjoining piece of Velcro on the gasket. Where is it? There we are. So there's a geeky pink gasket. So there'll be a piece of Velcro on there, which this will attach to. And then this little bungee cord here, or shall we say this elastic cord, will go around my leg. Now, it may be the fact that this stands out too much when you look down. It looks like... You know, I am wearing knee pads and don't want that. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not until I actually wear the whole thing. But ultimately, yeah, a really simple part. So this episode, unlike the other episodes, was two birds, one stone, or shall I say four birds, because it was just a simple build. And in fact, that's a little piece of advice for any of you out there who are, is new to the kit, uh, inexperienced in painting and putting stuff like this together, because this is really, really simple. And if you cock up, it's really easy to rectify as well. So that's my recommendation. So if you really enjoyed this episode, you don't want to see the last couple of episodes or the final build of making this kit, by all means, click on the subscribe button down below where you'll get a notification of the next episode and also other projects. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. Click on the like button down below so I can see if people like these videos and I will continue making them. So in the meantime, my name's John Child, this is Captain's Dry Dock, and these are my kneecaps. You take care. <laughs>